Okay, guys, so welcome back to JW FIFA. I'm Joe, and this is episode something eight, nine, one of the two of the Liverpool manager career mode. And in our next match, as you can see there, we do we are taking on Aston Villa, and this is our team for the game. Coutinho, Gertz, and Sturridge make up the front three. Milner, Chan and Henderson, the middle three. And at the back we have Kolarov and Klein as the full backs. Lovren and Skirtle at the centre of the defence. And then we have Mignolet in goal. With Benteke, Lallana, Moreno, Ibe, Firmino, Lucas and Bogdan on the bench. Should be an interesting game, Aston Villa. Not so that the FA Cup, realistically, last season. Let's see if we can get some revenge right now. Okay, so we are here at Villa Park for Aston Villa versus Liverpool. So, what will come from this match? Let's hope we can get something good going into the, you know, to the middle of the episode. So, just going through a few statistics. So now, first attack, it's with Aston Villa now. Moving forward, Ayu. That's good play. Oh, and they've scored already. I'll say already half an hour into the game that is 1-0 to Aston Villa that is not the start that we wanted however we're only just on the stroke of our time we have the rest of the first half and the entire second half plus stoppage time and whatnot to try and get to at least try and get a goal in this game ok so now it's with Chan Chan to Coutinho Coutinho what a goal top corner Felipe Coutinho Makes it one all and that early goal, well I say early goal again, uh, midway through the game. But what a great response to that con to conceding that goal and we are now, we, well we've equalised. Don't really know what I'm saying at the moment. But I suppose we can move on because that is now one all and see if we can get something from this game. Now, they're in the box and Sturridge, Sturridge was defending and... That's a penalty. Well done, Daniel Sturridge. Thank you for that. I mean, he was defending, and the ball came across, and he slid in for some reason. Obviously, trying to stop the ball didn't work out too well. Now we can see the penalty, and Sturridge is sent off. Definitely, definitely not the way I wanted this game to go. Now, come on, Mignolet. Come on. Come on. Oh, really? 2-1 and yeah, that happened, okay. 2-1 uh, to Aston Villa through that penalty, through the Daniel Sturridge defensive mistake and that is why he's a striker and not a centre-back. We don't want mistakes like that every game. Okay, so, Henderson to Coutinho, Coutinho strikes, it's wide. Not again, not what I wanted to happen, but could get a could get a whole lot worse. Okay, so now it's with Ayu. Now Sanchez moving forward with the ball. It's in the middle. Three one. Minule came out to pick the ball up and completely missed it. Completely messed that up. Three one to Aston Villa. This has been a horrific turn of events, and now on the stroke of full time, they come away with it. It's Ayu. Ayu on the ball. He's left the last defender. And... 4-1 to Aston Villa. A horrific performance. Followed by a quick breakaway. Mignolet beaten four times in this game. Definitely not what we wanted to see. It's a shocking start to the episode. Absolutely horrific. Now, that is full time. As I say, shocking, shocking start to the episode. Just 4-1 um, to Aston Villa. That, like I say, it's not in the playbook whatsoever. And uh, let's just show that we can get something better. 
in this Europa League match, we take on Monaco in Monaco, I assume. Let's see if we can get a Europa League victory to avenge our Premier League defeat. Well, it wasn't really a defeat. That was a... It was a... A massacre. Hopefully, we will not be defeated 4-1. Or, again, defeated again in this series. But now it's Monaco with the ball. Good footwork. They're in the middle. What can they get from this? Crossed. The header is over the bar. And that is a chance going begging for AS Monaco. And again. Moving forward with the ball quite well here. And that's a good save by Mignolet at the near post. A good shot forcing a fantastic save from the goalkeeper. Probably could have hit the post but Mignolet taking no chances. Now with a corner. What can come from this? Nothing because that's cleared away. Okay, now into the second half. Goethe sends it forward to Daniel Sturridge. Daniel Sturridge, nimble footwork. That's a poor shot. But it was deflected. So now can we get something from this? It's crossed into the middle. It's blocked away. Oh, we've got penalty. Okay. Penalty not what I expected at this moment in time. But Daniel Sturridge gets set to take this penalty. Can the number 15 smash it? Yes, he can. And that makes it Liverpool 1 AS Monaco 0. And that is what we want to see. We want to see a lead taken. A lead taken is better than trailing 1-0. Okay, well struck penalty in the top right hand corner from the Liverpool striker. And now AS Monaco moving down the middle. Now cross into well pass into the middle. Great save by I Minolin mean, another save. Absolutely fantastic. Two quick saves from the Liverpool goalkeeper forced onto his feet there. Got to be focused on what's going on at the back and that and he was absolutely amazing in that scenario there. Now cross in the middle. It's well taken once again by Minolet. Dangerous rollout, however, but we do come away with the ball. Now, Chan's gone down, and Chan looks hurt. Don't actually know what happened, but okay, we'll uh, sort this out. We'll put Lucas in place of Chan, I think. Maybe he just pulled a muscle, but he's going to be out for a while by the looks of it. Now, Goetze. Goetze sends it to Coutinho, who does well, gets around that last defender. Coutinho! A shot straight at the goalkeeper. Now on the stroke of full time. Can they get a late equaliser? No, they can't because the final whistle stops the attack. And a better performance. Still not great. Still pretty poor. But a better performance from what we have been having in previous games. And now we take on Leicester, the King Power Stadium. The real life leaders of the Premier League. Now, can we pick up a, another victory? Can we keep this form going? Or will we be defeated once more? They see the Leicester City lineup. Mark Swartz starts in goal for Leicester, but the game kicks off and now the first attack is with Leicester. Vardy with a... I don't know whether that was a shot or a cross, but Mignolet diving with a save. Now into the second half, can say to Vardy, to Inla, who, with a fantastic shot and a fantastic save by Mignolet, now it's Dyer. Back to Inla. Inla's inside the box. What a strike. What a strike, top left-hand corner. Beating Mignolet at his far post. Just snuck inside that 18-yard box and now with a free kick. And it's a great save by Mignolet. To prevent that to prevent that free kick from going in and making it 2-0 to Leicester City. Still Liverpool with a chance of getting an equaliser in this game. Now. Let's move forward with Kante. 
And another fantastic save by Mignoli. A fantastic shot once again, forcing a brilliant save. Mignoli has been on form the last couple of games. May have slipped up the odd few times with that, with a couple of goals that he's conceded. But everyone does. I mean, look at Cassias and De Gea. You can't expect a perfect season from everyone. And the stroke of full time. There we go. Full time whistle blows. And another defeat. One out of three. Two defeats. And it's, uh, what is it? Five goals conceded with only two goals scored. Hopefully we will improve on that rather than having that shocking form. And uh, yeah. Didn't really go too well. Just going to have a look at the uh, standings. Capital One Cup, FA Cup. Yeah, we got knocked out of the uh, Capital One Cup, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, so we've still got the second, well, the replay of the FA Cup to come. Now, we are eighth in the table. We are three points from sixth. We are three points from West Ham. Uh, West Brom, apologies there. But hopefully, just hopefully, we will do better in there. Are the statistics. 41 games played, 17 won. 14 lost. Okay, so I'm just going to sort this out. I'm going to drop Lucas back here. Seems a pretty solid team. Well, it's the same team as what we've been using for quite a while now. Sturridge back on the bench following his suspension against AS Monaco. And we do have Monaco next, and we are going to simulate that, as you can see now. Do we get the win? Yes, we do a 2-0 victory over our opponents. And so, at the start of next episode, we will take on Newcastle United in the FA Cup. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more FIFA 16 content. See you later, guys.